Good day, everyone. What you're about to see is Kyle McLaughlin, president of Tough Mudder, talk about some very exciting news coming up here for 2021. Yes, you've probably already read the press release, but don't you want to hear from the man? Don't you want to hear the words behind the words? Don't you want to hear the thoughts, the ideas, the excitement, the nuance behind just some press release? Of course you do. That's where I come in. Uh, go ahead and listen to this interview with Kyle. Now, I also have a full interview on the podcast channel, podcast channel, on the podcast where uh, we talk about a bunch of TV and a bunch of other fun stuff. That's the first half of this interview. Uh, but be sure to tune into the end. We talk about some exciting news, including a new Tough Mudder shoe. <gasps> Check it out. You're hearing this. It's after 11. You've seen the news. Come down from on high. Uh, TMHQ. What is the, what's the headline? Kyle, give us the headline. Headline is, if you have been training all year, stuck in your basement you know, watching uh, uh, watching Matt B. Davis' podcast while lifting weights and running on your treadmill, and you want to get back out for a full Tough Mudder season next year, we have unleashed uh, the best season pass uh, program we have ever had. So true VIP access, not just unlimited race entries anymore, but an actual you know program that uh, takes care of our best customers. Well, I'm going to go ahead and share. Is that okay? I want to go ahead and share yeah. my screen. Look at this. We're doing like an actual presentation. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Um, so I'll, I'll read a couple things, then you can talk about it. How about that? Uh, that's great. A uh, whole new suite of new perks. I like that. A suite of perks. So fancy, right? Right. Uh, free digital only entry to all the 2021 Tough Matter challenges, which means there will be 2021 Tough Matter challenges. There will be an expanded set of Tough Mudder challenges next year. So you know, a, a broader uh, portfolio of things you can choose from. Uh, more than just the, the six we've done this year, but taking different formats. So more to come on that in the next, uh, probably in early December. I heard that since this year you did Marvel, next year is going to be like Sopranos maybe based, like the Polly <laughs> Walnuts challenge or the Christopher, you know, no, that's not going to happen. You just got to eat like three prosciutto sandwiches and uh, <laughs> exactly. drive clock. A lot of gabagoo. Uh, <laughs> season pass holder bib. Now this means you're going to, you're going to mail me something or at my first race, I pick it up and I get to wear it at all the races. So in January, season pass holders will get their gear kit for the season, which includes a season pass holder bib, which has been asked for for years, right? You know, we've always had pass holders asking us, I would love a bib to be able to, you know, to show off and you know, show that we're a pass holder on site. So a bib, a dry bag, 20 liter dry bag, you have to be able to use a gear check. Uh, and we're doing a nice you know, full kind of North America season poster that'll come with stickers if you want to be able to track. You're jumping ahead. I was just talking about the bib. You're like jumping all ahead on me. Yeah, but um, we're, all of those things come at once in a nice little gift oh, package. You know, handwritten note from me, you know, January love letters. Oh, so you're going full, you're every, you're going like, uh, you know, who does that is first form. They're like this huge supplement company. And my wife is like, the guy writes a handwritten note to everybody. Pretty cool, man. He must spend hours doing that. Um, Kyle, what's a dry bag? So dry bag is like a, it's a vinyl you know, bag that seals at the top. You know? So if you want to, you know, like, Put your, put your phone, your wallet, your shoes, your dry clothes in it. You don't have to worry about it getting wet. You don't have to worry about you know, getting muddy. If you drop it, you can bring it into the shower area with you, keep your stuff you know, on hand and keep your stuff dry. Not to get too far ahead of myself, but will bag check be a thing in 2021? Are we having some concerns with that? Bag check will be a thing. We're always going to have it. I think what one of the things that we're working on is how do we do it and do it and where it's not in a like enclosed, tented, confined environment. So that's one of the one of the pieces the team's working through right now on kind of our, our enhanced COVID plan for next year. Well, when I was in Seattle for Spartan last year, they had an outdoor one. And I guess they've been doing this actually a lot. They just hang it on fences. Yep. Um, which I thought was kind of smart. Um, but of course it was, you know. Seattle so it was raining the whole time so they were covering with little plastic bags um uh so that looked like something that yeah I guess Spartan's been doing that for a while now that I think about it I I'm kind of a big media person so I never use bag check I don't know if you know this or not but um but yeah they just hang the like yeah. hang it on fences instead yeah, of like, there's a chance we end up doing something similar uh you know really to make sure that we don't create an indoor space or an enclosed space for people to just dwell in right um have you guys done the old like 
what's it called? Like dropper locker partnership. I know Spartans, I think had those or some other races have had those. Have you ever looked at those? No, we've talked to them about it before, but a lot of people, you know, coming and don't have that little bit of stuff, right? Like those things work if you just want to stash like your phone and your wallet and your keys. You know? right. If you're bringing a change of clothes and a second set of shoes, like oftentimes those lockers aren't big enough, but you know, we might take a look at it again for next year. All right. So next up is uh, companion tickets for the classic and 5k. So not for toughest or world's toughest or tougher, I guess. Um, 10% off for, for just five of your friends, boom, that you get a discount. Yep. Yep. Automatic discount up to, up to five of your friends and the, the season pass and it's the base season pass is only good for 5k. And classic. It would not be a podcast without one of my children interrupting. Whoever's asking <laughs> if we have Halloween stuff in the attic. I don't know when mommy gets home, we can look. Yeah. Cause I, we have, we have a bunch of Halloween stuff in the room. Okay. Now in our house, you know, a holiday ends, you put stuff up in the attic. <laughs> However, considering the rough and tumbleness of my children, typically half of those things just wind up in the garbage because they're destroyed. So there's not like a big box of things. There's like, oh, there's one skull, you know, there's like one plastic skull saved from last year's Halloween. There's not like this big so, box. Matt, it's October 8th. You haven't put your Halloween decorations up yet? Well, River has started. Your father, are you? River started. River started hand making some stuff uh, and it actually looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Um, all right. $50 merchandise credit off of purchases of hundred dollars or more. So that's like a 50% credit. Yeah. So I mean, we've never, so we're bringing a merchandise operation in house starting November 1st. Uh, so we're launching our own merchandise site. We've always had a, a third party partner uh, who's operated merchandise, both online and on site starting November one, it will be all TMHQ operated merchandise. We'll be selling, shipping, designing all the products. We've got some really cool stuff that's launching in a few weeks, uh, which enables us for the first time ever to be able to offer merchandise credits and discounts to pass holders and other customers. So pretty excited about that. If you're looking for a good deal on clearance stuff right now, actually, the, we're clearancing a lot of the old stuff out as they wind down our relationship with the, uh, with the old third party group. So $5 hats and all sorts of old things that uh, people can grab up, but whole slate of new stuff coming November 1. Cool. Cool. Like, one of a kind or maybe not ever going to get made again stuff. Yeah. We're going to start off with some of the basics. We've got some cool holiday gift items coming out. We'll do a, we'll do a little preview with you uh, in November, but uh, we're going to be adding as we go. We've got some great performance wear, new footwear and other exciting things coming in 2020. Wait, hang on, hang on a second. You just said footwear. Hang on. Just a little, just a little teaser. Yeah, hang on, teaser. hang on. Footwear. Is that like a shoe? Like a shoe, like a shoe. Like there is a there is a Tough Mudder shoe coming back, launching in 2021. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you questions and you just say yes or no. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm not I'm not going much further than this. So is it is it Under Armour? I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> All right. Well, I will remind the audience. Going way back, there was an Under Armour shoe. We all know about the wonderful uh, Merrill sponsorship you had for years. Uh, Spartan has craft, so it could be that. I, I, I don't know. Although my son says Morel. Do you know anybody that says Morel instead of Merrill? No, it's definitely Merrill. Okay. River is like Morel. And I'm like, that's, that's kind of a cool way to say it. Yeah, if you're French, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> These are some man. Uh, Morel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, I just have a great idea, okay? <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say any more about the shoes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We don't have to say anything about that. But, 2021. But I am going to completely, going to completely uh, clickbait this article with like new mutter shoes. Um, but since you're doing this 50% off thing, and it's, it's like you said, it's almost holiday time. Listen, I know you've got a media team. You don't need my help. But what if we put you in a Santa hat, right? You've already got the red beard going on. And you're like, I'm Christmas time Kyle here. We got a whole bunch of deals for you. And like you do this whole thing about you point one of a kind hats and you point, you make a hole. No. Did you work on like flex seal commercials before you started the podcast? <laughs> I was like, thinking more local car commercial. I live in the South. You know, we, get, we have lots of those great car commercials growing up. OxyClean, like Ronco. Were you selling those? Uh, remember those like uh, at-home rotisserie ovens? Yeah. I, I do. We're, we're aging ourselves. Okay. And then 20% off merchandise during the entire 2021 year. Yeah. So season pass holders get permanent discounts. So pick up the latest gear as stuff launches. You now you'll be able to make sure that you've got early access and the best price to all the stuff that we're going to roll out throughout the year next year. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ask you 
a, a skip ahead ish question, just because I know it's coming. These are U.S. races only, correct? Or U.S. and Canada? Uh, so the, this, the North America season pass is for U.S. and Canada. We also have a U.K. season pass that has a similar set of perks, uh, although slightly different. Uh, that is for all of the U.K. events. I hear the U.K. one includes like a wheel of cheese. <laughs> Uh, you know, cheese in the UK is an interesting thing, right? Like all the all the good cheese comes from you know from France and Italy. UK cheese is is you know, stiff and uh, you know, they have a good cheddar though. You're, are you a cheddar guy, Matt? Uh, I do like cheddar. Um, I think that should be another episode we do. Favorite cheeses. <laughs> well, as this as this race season continues to evolve without very many events, we can just. Fill the airways talking about television and cheese. I, I like you know what I really like, Kyle's a good pepper jack. I mean, come on. All right. I, that, I can see that. I can see that. If I, um, Kyle, if you came to my house and you said, Matt, make me a sandwich, right? I'd say, let me see if we have any lunch meat. And then I would go, I would go like some good turkey and some and some good pepper jack, I think. Do you like mayo or mustard? What's what's your vibe on the sandwich? Oh, I'm a, I'm a mustard guy. Yeah. On that sandwich, I'd go mustard too. Um Kyle, um, so are they gonna have their own separate like, is there another release coming for them for the for the UKers? UK release is coming today as well. So, oh, okay. oh, it, but it is a, a very similar suite of of you know, benefits and packages uh, just related to the UK events. Okay, uh, a Mutter Village Pass or Mini Mutter entry every time they run, so I can bring one of my kids for free to run the race, uh, or just I can bring somebody to fest. It's it's a free spectator pass. Exactly. Yeah. Got it. Uh, this one looks good. Access to invitation only season pass holder events and previews throughout the year. Yeah. So we did a little bit of this last year, some invitation only events for ambassadors and community members, but we're going to ramp that up. So season kickoff events, new obstacle unveils, you know, previews of you know, early access to certain tickets, new merchandise, et cetera. So you know, season pass holders are really going to become like our members you now, our top tier, uh, you know, most highly regarded customers. And the next thing too is the, is the really big one. They're going to get their own dedicated customer support email address now that goes right to our top tier customer service managers. So no more of the, the rank and file customer service. If you're a pass holder, you go right to a one-stop shop now that can solve any of your issues, solve your problems. These are, uh, these are really good. And then mystery gift item, which also exciting, right? Could be, could be anything. Could be anything. Could be a hat. Could be a sweatshirt. Could be you know some random tough on a gear I've got laying around this office. You never know. Block of cheese. Block of cheese. Yeah. Autographed poster of Matthew Davis. Like we'll, we'll throw anything in there. Uh, okay. This I really like. Okay. The next thing up is the is the regional passes. Yep. So we've got Northeast, Midwest, West Coast. Wait, where's the South? Where's where I live? What happened? Are there any events in the South next year? Yeah, we're Atlanta. We might come back to Florida next year, uh, but not enough events to fill out a regional pass at this point. All right. All right. We'll look forward to complaints from those people, even though this is a great deal. I'm, you're definitely going to get complaints. Um, I live in Atlanta. I will do the Atlanta Tough Mudder. I don't miss that event. Um, it's April 21st. I have to go look. April something next year. Yep. Wait. Second event season. Um, so this is good because you had moved it when it, it was, it was always... It was, it was February, really cold. Then it was April, May for a few years. Then we got it at the end of the year because of, uh, of toughest and world's toughest. Sorry, I'm looking all over the place. You're seeing the secret sauce. You're seeing the secret sauce. Are you seeing any of this or you're not? Sometimes when I, I, don't know. I can just see your, the email. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm clicked all over the place and there was secret sauce going on. How I make my Canva designs, for example. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, so Northeast, Boston, Tri-State, Long Island, Philly, D.C., Midwest is Chicago, Twin Cities, Michigan, Indiana, Missouri. First of all, kudos. You nailed the Midwest. Spartan calls the Midwest who knows what. You nailed it. Good job. West Coast, uh, Seattle, two L.A. events, uh, a NorCal, and a Colorado. Um, this, is, this is great. And so let's get... Let, uh, so we've, we've never done a regional pass before. Right. Uh, it's, it's always a good concept. I yeah, you had the choice of like get a get a bundle, right? Like a two pack or a three pack of tickets, or then you had to upgrade you know, all the way to the season pass. And for somebody who is not going to fly, they you know they want to do the events that they can drive to. 
you know, you live in, in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York area, you can easily get to all of those, you know, Northeast events in a, in a two to three hour drive. Uh, same thing, you live in the Midwest, you can get to most of those events three, four hours, you know, West Coast. You know, people in California love to drive, you know, which is crazy, like they'll go anywhere. But, uh, you know, but again, West Coast, you can get to most of those events in a quick flight or an easy drive. And, you know, these events will get you entry to those five events, plus uh, some of the additional perks as well. And then the true fanatic. And we know you're out there. We know you're listening right now and can't wait to hit purchase TMHQ. Give me, uh, take my money. Tough Mudders, all events pass, gains access to all event formats anywhere in the world, not just the world, including WTM. For those with big mileage goals or new headbands to earn, the all events pass delivers impressive value and the most exclusive level of access. So this is everything, Matt. From 5K, classic, tougher, toughest, world's toughest, any country we operate in, you get this, you know, you do not pay, you know, any sort of additional, you know, fee for tickets, for add-ons, et cetera. So, and, you know, a little special extra perk we're throwing in the all events piece, you know, uh, you'll actually get free lunch and extra beer on site. Get well. out of here. No, deal. All right, let's so get to about, there's about a dozen people right now who have the all events pass already uh, already so that they had they had it we had offered that at the end of last year as well and those have rolled over so if you want to join that that truly elite club uh you know the all events pass is a, is a great option and you know look if you're going to run worlds and at least one toughest and you plan to you know, hit up a number of events do some tougher you know upgrades as well it's definitely worth it is it's one of them is one of them joe perry uh I don't know. Actually, I don't think Joe Perry has the has the all access pass. Uh, I would think I would think. He, OK, here we go. So here we go. The prices, the exclusive prices for all of these regional pass four twenty nine. That sounds like a bargain, right? Yep. Compared to five, yeah, if you're going to run five of those events, you know, even four of those events. It's a great deal. Right. No additional fees. So when I go to each one, I don't pay like an insurance, nothing. We've never charged insurance. I know, I always uh, forget that. Yeah, that's never been a thing. We have moved to doing a, a flat parking and bag drop fee rather than you know, it being something you have to deal with in cash on site. So we're moving to be entirely cashless next year for COVID and, and other reasons. So whenever you redeem your pass, you'll have the $10 parking bag drop fee. And that's, we in full transparency, something we can't turn off. Like it's an either on or off thing with active. So yeah, that's the only thing that you will have to do in terms of fees is, is the $10 parking bag drop whenever you redeem it. But that's, you would have historically paid, you know, 20 to $35 for that on site. Yeah, I, I think parking's okay. I think that's, it's, you know, you're going somewhere. It's, again, like we, we pay to park everywhere, right? Like yeah. we pay to look, park. We don't make any money on that, right? We, right. You know, it is covering yeah. our cost on parking. Well, I didn't know that. I mean, I don't know how your how your payout structure was, but I just assume like these people give you the land and it's part of the deal and, and it makes again, it's not outrageous. Like 20 is like, huh, come on now. 10, I think it's super fair, especially if you include uh bag drop in it, right? Because yeah. most because mutters need bag drop. I think like you can do a sprint and just kind of leave stuff in your car and kind of be okay. But I think for a mutter, you need you need bag drop, man. Yep. Yeah. Um, especially for these new shoes. What you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna test out. Season pass is five forty nine, so not much more to bump up to the season. Um, add WTM for another three fifty, which is still a deal on WTM. WTM is yep. usually four fifty, right? When it yep. comes around. Yep. Kyle, I hate to say this, but remember when you said we're absolutely doing world's toughest? Do you remember when you said that to me? <sighs> I know. We thought the world would return to normal over the summer. Uh, this was this was back. This was even before that, I think. I think this was when, like, we had just gotten squared away with Spartan and we were trying to figure out, like, what you could produce in a year. Like, yeah. hey, we can't do the February events. We can't do the March events. And I was like, 100% Worlds. And you're like, 100% Worlds, man. Little I mean, we are doing Worlds. It's going to be virtual. Oh, right? okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, and then the All Events Pass is $13.99. Uh, includes everything you see here. You, you get to do all the events. It includes Worlds. You get the special bib. You get all the perks you saw before. Yeah. Um, if you're thinking about it, if you really think about it, and you know you do all these events, it's probably a good deal. I know a lot of times us OCR people like to wait for the last minute and then get in a car and go. Um, but maybe you can think long-term, just spend the 1400 to be done with it. 
Yeah, look, if you're gonna if you're gonna run at least you know, one toughest plus worlds next year uh, and do a number of regular events, it's well worth the money. Plus, for people who've been thinking about getting over to the UK or trying out an event in Germany, you know, it's it, it's a good deal, a, a great access, chance to access all of those with uh, without having any incremental costs. Do, do we have it? Do we have a 2021 Germany? Uh, we are very close to launching a, a 2021 Germany. What about so? Europe is just UK and Europe, right? Oh, we have UK, Ireland, Germany. Uh, we just launched Malta uh, a couple weeks ago. So if you want to go, why was to- I not? Why was I not informed of Malta? Matt, yeah, Malta. Clearly, you must get so many emails that you missed the one on Tough Mudder Malta. I, I I must have. I did not get that one. But uh, we're working on a number of other. We were we've previously been in Italy, Poland, Croatia. Uh, and uh, you know, we're working as, as they all kind of recover from COVID to map out that schedule. For so now. you don't, th- so you don't have a Europe. There is no TM Europe. Well, I mean, there's TM of all of those countries. So, but but I'm saying there's a difference between having like each country has its own. Or do you understand what I'm saying? Not really, but I but we have Tough Mudder in Europe in a number of different countries. Well, like okay, so. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, like the like the UK is the UK office, right? Yes. But yes, it yes, encom- yes. so that's what I was asking. Like the the TM Europe is there isn't a TM Europe. There's like individual franchisers or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, partners, but they're all supported by our HQ team, either in London or here in New York. Okay. Um, so let's get to worlds. Um. I see an awful lot of posts. So I'm guessing you have a lot of people. I see a lot of questions in the group. Um, uh, man, people still hung up in this elevation thing, man. People just, can't, people can't wrap their mind around. I live on a flat street. How do I possibly get elevation? I'm, I'm not sure why this concept, I think we should, we should take this as a lesson. Like now when we're teaching fourth and fifth graders about common core, we should teach about how elevation works. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, the reality is I think most people who have done it, there's a lot of new people doing the Marvel Challenge, which is pretty exciting. The Marvel Challenge is massive, by the way. We're you know, over 5,000 people. You know, Are you kidding me? Yeah, who've jumped in on that. So it's been great. Um, yeah, the, I think everybody, a ton of people who are brand new to Tough Mudder as well, who saw you know, Marvel as the, uh, as the option and decided to sign up for it because they're big Marvel fans. But a lot of people who are still trying to figure this out for the first time, how do I get elevation in if I live in Florida, live in Atlanta, Flatlanders? So again, stairs, stadium bleachers, uh, get a good parking garage, you know, walk up and down the staircase. Like there's a lot of options on how to get that in and a lot of people have figured it out pretty creative with it. Kyle, how did a Marvel partnership happen? You know, typically with, with products, whether it's a, a beard groomer or a nutrition bar, you know, yep. you've, got, you've got a team that works on these. There's some outgoing calls or some ingoing calls, you know, how did a Marvel partnership uh, appear? So we've known the Marvel team for a long time. I, mean, I don't know if you remember back early 2018, we were doing a superhero start wave. Now with oh, that's right. I yeah. remember. So, so we've been working with Marvel for, for years and we'd always kind of you know, noodled around about you know, how do we get Marvel into the fitness world? You know, they wanted to be able to bring the, the comic book TV digital universe into something that was a bit more like in your backyard, outside your window in real life. And fitness has always been a key priority for them, right? Because if you think about, you know, how many of those characters, Captain America, Thor, you know, Black Widow are, are you know, kind of fitness icons in and of themselves. And uh, when challenges came up, we started the conversation with them about how cool it would be to build a Marvel challenge. And they were in right away. So it's, uh, we've got some fun stuff packed in for the next few weeks. We just kicked it off two days ago. You can still sign up. So are you doing it? Um, I think I just signed up. Um, five, that's, that's phenomenal. Um, because like, yeah, we know there's a, we know, obviously there's Marvel fanatics out there. We know the biggest movies for the last, you know, 10 years, but, um, but no, that's great news that that many people are, are, uh, are doing it. So do you, do they have a, uh, like a fitness team and like they work with your people like how can we call this the Thor you know whatever yeah we've been working with the with the Marvel you know, the team that I mean, it's amazing too how many different 
characters and obviously franchises within the Marvel universe. You know? So as we try to plot this out, like, you know, is this a, an Ant-Man or an, you know, an Iron Man or a Black Panther or a Black Widow and trying to figure out the right piece to get as much of the Marvel universe into the challenge as possible. Um, but it's interesting, right? Like you, people who are not Marvel fanatics you know, are, are learning just as much about the shows and the comic books as they're trying to figure out like, what do you mean I have to pretend like I'm Ant-Man and run around the block from a tiny human, like you know, trying to wrap their head around this, the storylines too, which is fun. Right. Now, did we discuss uh, the amazing um, uh, I'm on the edge of my seat, Matt, what do you got? I wish I knew what words were. I'm gonna, we'll fix this in post. Hey, uh, Charlie, make sure we fix this part right here. Um, I don't really have a Charlie. I just, um, when we were on site at World's Toughest, there's a lot of filming that goes on there uh, here at, uh, at Bucharest Farms, right? So yeah. you got, you got Tony Stark's house is right there, the iconic scene, right? Tony Stark's cabin. Tony Stark's uh, cabin. The, the Tough Mudder team has, uh, has used as our own home for World's Toughest Mudder the past couple of years. Right. Uh, the big uh, Black Panther, Wakanda, you know, hill charging fight scene was done there. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of interesting stuff. I mean, Georgia, you guys in Atlanta particularly are a, uh, a hotspot for filming uh, and the Marvel team in particular has done some, uh, quite a bit down there. Yeah, there's been, they just finished, um, what did they just finish? I don't know. There's a lot that they do like, uh, um, a lot of Venom, I think was shot here. Um, are you a Venom fan? No, I've never seen it. River loves Jackson and River love Venom. Again, like not really for kids, but what are you going to do? Um, there's a Venom sequel coming out very soon. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, they film stuff across the street from my house all the time. I mean, there's just, Atlanta's become like, it's like living, like, like I'm sure when you were, you know, walking down the street, getting your cup of coffee and you see a bunch of trucks and stuff, you're like, oh, I wonder, wonder what they're making. That, that, that's here now. No, you get used to it in New York, but in Atlanta, it's kind of cool to see how much that's uh, it's become a big part. I mean, we were there, World's well, Toughest last year. I don't know if you remember, but on the hill kind of that was leading up towards Arctic Enema, there was this big, you know, like wooden structure wrapped in a tarp. Everybody just assumed it was some mystery obstacle we were going to unveil. It was a like movie prop trebuchet, like a big launcher uh, that had been built for some film shoot that was going to happen there right after Worlds was over. So, uh, you know, we, we begged and begged to try and use it as a, uh, you know, as something we could launch you know, participants with. I think we, a human trebuchet could be could be like the next evolution. Yeah, I mean, Nolan, Nolan had been trying to get that you know, across the line for years, but uh, you know, the, uh, the insurance guys were just never gonna go for it. All right, so if we're listening to this now and we're all still alive, it's after 11, it's live on the site, I go to toughmutter.com and it's right there, or is it, I click something? It'll be on the homepage. Yeah, there's a big blog article up if you want to check out more details uh, and get the full scoop. But then on the passes page, gives you a side by side as to what you get for a regional pass, season pass, or if you want to take the full dive and go for the uh, the all access one, it's there as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoy content like this, you can do your part to support by supporting. Yeah, support by supporting. Uh, get on the Patreon train. That's right, two dollars a month, as little as two dollars a month gets you access to uh, early content, which we've been doing a lot of lately. You'll get an interview a day or two or sometimes a week in advance. Uh, you'll get access to our secret Facebook group and all the fun stuff we do in Patreon. Uh, we did a secret Santa this past year. That was awesome. I'm sure that's coming back. Uh, and it's just a fun little group we got in there. Uh, but also you get to feel good about supporting this show, which supports the thing you love, which is obstacle racing. So thanks so much for tuning in. Love ya, miss you, mean it. I have got to run.